I know I can box on a back foot. I know I can box long and box going forward. I can do it all. You've got to be special to beat me. Send me all your doubts and I'm going to turn you into a believer. Man. Yeah, he's got everything to gain, nothing to lose. So he's going to come out and give you everything. But so am I. Yes. If he's overlooking me, man, he, he, better, he better wake the hell up. I completely outbox him. I make it look easy or I knock him out. You know, I, I come to fight, I come for violence. I'm going to be 100% ready. I don't leave no stone in turn. See you fight night. Tune in, because it's going to be, it's going to be fireworks. You've got to do a few though, so don't go burning out first one. Is it yet? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's the money talks, doesn't it? I fuck them all up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if I, if I train for it, for, if I train for a year, if I train for what, it doesn't even matter. If I train for, say, like, six months as much as they've trained, I mean, I don't want to say no one's names, but they just wouldn't stand a chance. I, that's what I personally believe. Like, low key, all my life, I've been in and out of boxing training all my life, so I just reckon if I did. They've only just come into it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. People are just coming into it. I've sort of been around it my whole life, so I reckon I've got an advantage. If anyone wants it, just let me know, innit? <laughs> you know, how's Bullets, mate? He wants to spar me, Monday. I'm going to have to be like that. Look, I promise you, we've got a voice note from him. Wait, hold on, where is, what's his, I don't know his name. I forget. I'm to your mate, Joe, don't worry. Has Bullets, mate. Has Bullets, mate, innit? Um, Abdul, innit? Oh, yeah, he is. Hey bro, how are you? How's your thing? I'm coming UK Friday 13th. Let's meet bro this time. Why are we not seeing bro? Let's do this. <laughs> Why are you not seeing bro? So yeah, he's coming down. He said to me he wants to come, he wants to come to the match from gym on Monday. We'll have a spa. He's my first sparring partner. I think it's a good one. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's equal. Yeah, I always do this. Get me nice and warm. Otherwise I've got to stand there for the next 30, 40 minutes. You're looking good, Joe. I'll do the last one with you. No, 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 no. Oh, what about Joey? Joe can do whatever he likes. He's a boss man, ain't he? There he goes. It's just interval training, really. And then we get closer to the fight. He would drop down to do 200s. Before this, he was doing 800s. Now we've dropped to 400s, then we'll drop to 200. The nearer you get to the fight, you're creating more explosion in, in what you're doing. So you start off getting the stamina together on, on, the, on the track. And then the more you get nearer to the fight, you more explosive runs. So this is just one part of their sprinting sessions. Fast, 69. <coughs> Joe's favourite number. That's it, go on. Slow that one, 74. What went on there? There's a five second difference there. <coughs> the first one you went too fast. Yeah, the second one you went too slow. No. You're like a 71, 72 man, Joe. Oh, isn't it? it looks this, isn't it, Joe? Yeah. It takes your legs away from you, isn't it? But when you do eight of these, you start yeah. seeping into you, do you know what I mean? I'm feeling my legs now. Yeah. Jimmy's took him on there, so I think he should be coming in at like 71 here, which is a good time for him, 71, 72. 73, just outside 72. Good boy, Jimmy. You let him out there. The one thing I can't wait for, Alan, to be in this position where I'm timing. Wait, <laughs> you think it's easy, you think it's easy, it, don't, it ain't that easy, it's harder than it looks, mate. <laughs> Set, go on. Oh, you see me do all them steps. Yeah. See? Go on, Joe. 71, 72, good boy. I knew you'd leave that out then, Joe. Well done, Joe. Got to show my supporters I'm actually doing something. I'm not just laying around in bed. Whoosh! My next bro. 
Apparently the kitchen room. My favorite spot. We don't have the same bed, didn't it? It's dark when I wake up, it's dark outside. Why, why would you want to get up and run around the track? Fucking put yourself through pain. Don't, but you've got to think of the bigger picture. I've done everything that is possibly to do in this sport, and that's from amateur to pro. But the thing that keeps me going now, at first it was goals, now it's my kids. I need to provide for my kids, I need to make sure um, that they, once I retire, they're well looked after. I don't want to, I want to retire from my, the sport, I don't want the sport to retire me. A lot of, a lot of geezers, they come in here and spoil everything they've done because they want to carry on for too long. I've got kids I want to be able to speak to and not dribble over. So that's, that's my plan, do you hear me? I, I've missed so much of the, the, the younger years. And I've missed birthdays, I've missed air pack, school plays, stuff they're doing in school and whatever growing up because of boxing. It's going to be a point in a minute that my, my girl's eight and six. It's going to be a point in a minute where my girls, they want me around it. I want me to come and then there's going to be a point where I can go and they don't want to be around me. I don't want to miss that. Yeah, well, my family do, don't they? Because, you know, totally does it. My dad was a, my dad was a boxer. So, um, he, he's actual next fight. My dad's next fight was Nigel Ben. So, yeah, I've been around here my whole life. I train probably more for the, for the mental, mental part of my life as well, do you know what I mean? To keep me sane purpose, yeah. do you know what I mean? I've got no structure in my life, do you know what I mean? I have to wake up every day, like, what am I doing? Like, I ain't got a job. Do you know what I mean, realistically, I don't, I don't work. I'm very grateful of what's happened to me. Before I was famous on TV, I, I was grafting, mate. I, I had to, I had no choice. I had to earn money from somewhere. I, I, I can't, really, my dad, my dad looked after me to a certain level in my life, but he, he, never, he never proved it, he never gave me money, that, do you know what I mean? I had nothing as a kid. And I had to work for it. There's a difference between Joey Essex and Joey Essex who's on TV. You know what I'm saying? Like people look at me like people ask, I was in my house the other day, some kids went to me, are you really that stupid? And Joe said to him, I said, do you know what? This is what I want to talk about. I said, do you think, do you actually think that someone who's stupid could build this? And I built this on myself. I come from nothing, bro. Do the maths. If you put me in an English exam, I'm gonna get an F. If you put me on TV, I'll blow you out of water. Because I'm going to get all the edit, I'm going to make everyone laugh, and I'm going to get booked for the next show. Simple as. But if you ask me to get in a ring, done a year's worth of boxing, I'll smash you up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that Ogawa one was different. Like, I even watch videos now, and I was showing Joey Essex in the in Brentwood Kitchen earlier, the, the knockout again, because he wanted to see us, so I showed him. That's his and punch. When you see ringside, you see Conor Ben just jump up, Charlie jump up, Eddie jump up. He, Eddie's ready to get in the ring, but he hasn't even started the count yet. But um, it was mad that there was points flying everywhere. Just people going mad for a, a good minute and a half, two minutes. It was just crazy. <laughs> And then to win a world and, and come back from an injury, I didn't want a warm up fight. I said, just put me straight in against Rakimov, who's, he's a killer. He was going out, just smashing everyone, stopping everyone. Um, relentless comes forward, tough as they come. This is epic. This is what world title boxing is all about. Brilliant combinations from Cordina here. You've got to be more than just tough and strong and fit to beat me. You have to have something special, and I, I just knew he didn't have it. Fighting in Monte Carlo, I love the place. To be honest, um, I like the finer things in life. And if I ever won the lottery, this is where I'm coming. But you see Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Porsches, Bugattis, just pulling up left, right, and centre. It's a place where I like being around because it's motivating to be around that sort of stuff. I boxed in 2019 in Monte Carlo in the casino and it was one of my favourite places I visited, never mind box. But um, yeah, we're back again, 4th of November. So I'm out here just doing um, a little bit of training and uh, soaking it up. 
I've worked all my life to get to this point. I've been working hard, grafting, same as I usually do. And um, I leave no stone and turn come for the November. I can't believe Nigel's missed his session today. <laughs> So yeah, 4th of November, Monte Carlo, and I'm fighting someone called uh, Edward Vasquez. This fight is so important to me because I've been fighting my entire life. It's 21 years in the making. I got a family to support, and uh, I got a whole, city, a whole city behind me supporting me. So it means the world, man, and uh, we're, we're here to take it. Uh, you know, he's got good power. I respect that. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm training with absolute respect. And I know that he's got, you know, uh, a cannon right hand. But, um, you know, Ogalvo was there and he kind of just waited for that. You know, he, he kind of, it's almost like he laid down for that shot. And, and so, um, you know, if, if you're going to give it to him, he's going to take it. I'm not going to give him anything. He's never faced, you know, Edward Vasquez and he's never faced the kid. So no matter what any of those guys have done to him, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to bring a whole different package. I'll keep doubting, man. That's the fuel. That's the fuel of the fire. Send me all your doubts, and I'm gonna turn you into a believer, man. If he's overlooking me, man, he, he better he better wake the hell up because he's in for a rude awakening. You know, I, I'm training my ass off, and anyone that knows Edward the Kid Vasquez knows that. You know, I, I come to fight, I come for violence. Imagine, I'm like, fuck, give me all I've got. I'd have to pretend I got my out of breath. So I'm standing outside, like, trying to sneak. And let's go, whoop, 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 whoop. You'll be out, mate. You'll be out. It's a good place to be down here as well, like, you get a lot of things off your chest. You can talk about things, you know what I mean? It's like a safe place, so sometimes I come down here, but you know, it's nice to speak to people, good people, but obviously at the same time. He's getting on with what he's doing, you know. But yeah, I can, I can chat. So, like, do you know what I mean? Who said the other day? They went, do, do you like training? I said, do I like training? And then, not at all. <laughs> I fucking hate it. Ah, why, like, you wake up every morning to punish yourself, and then get to a fight to punish yourself even more. Fucking crazy. And then the off cut. There you go. That's good. We we'll get straight into that mode, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You'll faint straight. When you started sparring, you was like, yeah. had no confidence with the accuracy, did you? I didn't it's want to distance. throw it. Double jab, Ryan. Ryan left it. One, two at Ryan. Yeah. With my, my boxing ability, my boxing brain, and with Tony's boxing brain, there, there's not many people that will beat us, or could beat us. The big fight is KFI and Joey Yassix. <laughs> know what I mean? Isn't it, Joe? Yeah, it is. Hey, we put, put the Lambos Where's in. Where's your money alone? I've got my own Lambo in it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Put the keys down. Put the keys down, mate. He puts a Lambo, I put a Lambo. Both put a Lambo each, you see. Whoever wins takes both. <laughs> in the uppercut. And one, two. That's good. Double jab right hand. In there. Yeah, good. 
Well, it's going to be a good show, not just a good fight for the, for the main event. He, he's he's going to come, he's going to bring it. Um, tune in because it's going to be it's going to be fireworks. You know, I'm, pre I'm preparing for the best, and um, you're going to see the best kid. You've got to be special to beat me. I think I'll win by taking away Joe Cordana's, you know, best attributes, and you know, keeping him thinking, not letting him uh, get comfortable with just one look. Yeah, he's got everything to gain, nothing to lose. So he's going to come out and give you everything. But so am I. Here comes the kid, man. I'm 100% ready. See you fight night. We can all speak the words. It's just what happens on fight night. I'm going to be 100% ready. I don't leave no stone unturned.